all right y'all what's up how y'all doing today today what we're going to be talking about is we're going to be talking about why borderlands 3 or, or gearbox rather should go ahead and at least try and throw us uh i would say at least try and throw us one takedown uh hopefully two but uh, before i would i want to say before the end of the year but i feel like asking uh for two takedowns in seven months is kind of pushing things so i want to say why they should add at least one more takedown maybe two more takedowns before like borderlands 3 is all said and done because this game still has you know a, a pretty solid fo uh, fan base you know following it's borderlands dude borderlands uh, community is very dedicated to its franchise you know so you got to give it credit i mean the thing about it is dude is that obviously when people like content obviously people just like stuff to do in their games that they like to play for for me personally, I believe that when the Malawan takedown first drop, uh, that was like one of Borderlands 3's highest peaks in the since it's, uh, since it came out. And when the Malawan takedown came out, it was like roughly two months after the game had come out, and having that big boost for you know because it, it was free, dude. It was free. It was awesome. We 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 had no we had no sort of a raid boss at all. We had no like real true end game content after the game had came out except for mayhem 3 slaughter shaft dude and then just the amount of stuff that the mountain one takedown added a lot of for me personally dude i got so much content i got so many videos out of the mountain one takedown it's overall was it's really really good i would say this is probably some of the best content that borderlands uh, 3 has to offer uh if we look at its counterpart its other one uh, we fast forward about a little over six months to the future uh, after the Malawan takedown released. We uh, we have ourselves at the Guardian takedown, right? Now, say what you want, but leading up to the Guardian takedown, people were very, very hype. The only the, the f issues that lie with the Guardian takedown, we just compare the two. Look at it, right? Guardian takedown, it's way it's longer, dude. It's way longer. The Guardian Takedown is also a little bit uh, less forgiving, per se, because the thing about the Guardian Takedown that just is kind of annoying, obviously, jumping puzzles. Nope. No, dude. Jumping puzzles are dumb. <laughs> I hate those things, dude. I hate jumping puzzles. I've never been good at, like, any sort of jumping puzzle in any game, so me personally, ooh, it just makes me mad, bro. Anyways, what I'm saying, my point is, is that those two Necrotefeo areas uh, where you gotta fight the Necrotefeo type enemies... They just kind of add just artificial time uh, to doing the takedown when you really have no reason to have those there. Like, one thing I like about the Malawan takedown is that it's super linear, and it feels like there's no wasted time. There's no, like, wasted areas, you know? You, you have your door skip, uh, which after, uh, right after you beat the Valkyries, which is obviously really nice. But there's no, like, wasted enemies you feel like you gotta kill, right? Unless... And unless you were you you brought yourself a, a, like a rocket launcher that you can do skip jumps with, which uh, for me I used to use a Ruby's Wrath, or sometimes you know you could st uh, like fully stock uh, fully stack up Speed Demon and try and just jump instead. However, if you you know going for the first time or something like that, it can be just very annoying to having to go kill all those enemies, especially bro those those dudes were hella hella tanky, especially on launch day, dude. For like the first two weeks in the Guardian Takedown, bro, the enemies were just like. They were roided up on some juice and built-in armor, coated in armor, bro. Like, just ridiculous with a shield to boot. Dudes were tanky. My point is, is that if they are going to give us another style of takedown, dude, it's got to be in a happy medium, right? I, there, no, there should be no jumping puzzle right before the final boss room that will take you all the way back to, uh, to where you got to repeat the uh, crystal phases, the jump phases, and the mobbing phases, right? That's why that's, that's the thing with the Malawan takedown is that it's a lot quicker. It's a lot. It's a lot. It is punishing. You can, you know, you're like, oh, I gotta redo that some of that shit again. But it's not nearly as like just ugh, like big sigh, big sad, big sage, big f in the chats type of thing situation. So if they're gonna add a takedown, I believe they should go for like a an, a, a third takedown rather. Dude, a COV style takedown. I feel like could be really, really cool. So you could have like, I mean, dude, you could, I mean, it could be super, dude, it could be like somewhere in like Carnivora. Dude, could you imagine like somewhere deep inside of Carnivora? Like there could be like another, like a, like they, they just like open a door or some shit. There could be like some underground 
a cult following being created down there. Like someone is trying to like resur like resurrect uh, the Calypsos or someone, some like Neo Calypso fanatics are trying to like rally the COVs in this area, and you can, and your job is to go fuck shit up and fuck them up, dude. And I feel like no jumping puzzles. I feel like there should be three boss, like three main boss areas, right? Like I feel like as soon as you open, like as soon as you open the door, you clear an air, uh, like an area of mobs. As soon as you like, as soon as you go into like the next room area, there should be a boss, and then right after that, dude, there should be another boss, and then after that, you could have uh, a very like high level mobbing phase, and then after that, you could then have your big bad main boss at the very end. I think that'd be a good idea, personally. Obviously, we need you know. We need a little bit more love for the COV, in my opinion, uh, mainly because, dude, COV, like, especially the COV weapons, they, they really ain't that good, bro. Like, COV weapons, they kind of on the mess side. Like, there's a few good ones, but for the most part, bro, COV's kind of meh. You know what I'm saying? Plus, like, dude, we haven't gotten any content with the COV at all. Like, at all. Like, the highest tier of COV content is Slaughter Shaft, bro. Something, yeah, that's been in the game since day one. Like, come on now. Like, yeah, dude, a COV takedown, I feel like, would be hella dope. And I know some of y'all think that, too. Because uh, based on the comments of last video, when we were talking about just the current state of the game, a lot of y'all were talking about how cool a COV takedown would, or uh, how just in general, how good another takedown would be. I feel like all of us are on the same page when we're talking about how good another takedown would be, how refreshing it would be. Because, uh, dude, we're pushing a year since we got our last one at this point already. Like, we're already pushing a year since the Guardian takedown's been released. And I don't know about you guys, but I don't fucking ever do that. I don't like the Guardian takedown, bro. There's a reason why I still run the Malin 1 takedown, bro. Like, not, <laughs> Guardian takedown, hard pass my G and not with it, not with it. Other than that, though, guys, uh, let me know your thoughts and ideas for a new style takedown. Uh, I'm really interested to see what you guys uh, have uh, to talk about down there. Overall, though, I just feel like that a takedown is... Dude, takedowns has been, like... When they released the Malawan takedown for the first time, bro, it was such a hype time. Everybody thought that this was going to be, like, their main bread and butter for, like, endgame content for Borderlands. Uh, Borderlands 3, that is, since we didn't have any raid bosses. We just It just kind of hasn't really been that, because we still only have two almost two years after launch you feel me i don't know dude i really feel like a third game a third takedown would just make everybody happy like again like dude takedowns are awesome anyways though guys that is gonna just about wrap up the video if you guys did enjoy the video please make sure to drop your thumb the like button and if you're new around here which i mean i know some of y'all are bro youtube analytics don't cap just please subscribe bro we're on the road to 10k subs trying to hit that by the end of the year and we post daily content and you know what i'm saying like point blank simple anyways my name's Cree. Hope y'all enjoyed. We'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.